Okay, so um, after Ronnie's tool um, on visualizing brain images with MATLAB, I'm going to show you how to visualize your brain images with Nylon and Python. And you can follow this tutorial. So this is provided as an IPython notebook. If you start the, the BrainHack S3IT server, you can log in and go to Nylon Tutorials and then <coughs> start the notebook 2 underscore 0 and you, then you will end up here and um, you might be prompted to choose between Python 2 and Python 3 kernel there it's important to choose the Python 3 kernel and so now the notebook has all the outputs um, ever present but if you want to delete the outputs and run them run the code yourself you can go to cell, all output and clear and then you only have the code but not the not the figures yet and then you can run the code and produce the figures okay so I'm not involved in the Nylon um, development Nylon is a Python package that interfaces between neuroimaging data and machine learning packages or one machine learning package that's called SciPy uh, sorry, um, Scikit-Learn and um, Nylon aims to make it and succeeds in um, making it easy to put your neuroimaging data so your 3D brain images into Scikit-Learn to perform some machine learning algorithms on them and um, Nylon is, is developed by people around Gael Valko at uh, Neurospin near Paris and this tutorial is a short, I'm going to show you now, is a shortened version of a um, BrainHack OHBM educational course by um, guys from Gael's lab, Alexandra, Elvis and Midi um, and if you want to, to um, take a look at this paper if you're interested um, here uh, Alex is describing what, um, how you can use those open Python tools to perform machine learning on your neuroimaging data. Um, so, um, here I'm going to show how to use Nylon for an easy way to visual visualize your neuroimaging data and statistical results. And we'll show how to plot anatomical images stat maps on anatomical images, so something very similar to what Ronnie just showed and also stat maps on a glass brain and unless you specify otherwise Nylon assumes that your data is in MNI space okay so if you follow this tutorial you can just um, click through the cells and run them by Okay, so it's working now, but you can, if you select the cell, then you should see a green run button here and then the, the code is evaluated if you press the green run button. Um, so we just need that to display the images in the notebook correctly. And if we want to plot an anatomi anatomical image, we can use the um, plot anat function. So, um, if you take a look at the first line of code from Nine Learn in four data sets, first of all we need some data to plot. And Nylearn has this great way of fetching data, so you only you don't need to download data manually. You can just use this data fetchers like datasets.load MNI template, which is just a function of Nylearn. And if you run that, then this MNI template is downloaded onto your hard drive and written, the path is written into the anatomical image variable and then if we would like to plot something we need to import plotting from Nylearn like we learned yesterday in, in Ricardo's tutorial where we imported NumPy for instance and then with, with this line of code plotting.plotanet so plotting, this plotting module has a function plotanet and we are calling this function by um, giving it this anatomical image and if we 
if we um, evaluate this cell, then you should see this anatomical image. This click. Um, we can, so the plot the net function has other arguments that we can pass, so it works with just a path to a file, but it also um, can take cut coordinates, so the coordinates where the, the brain is displayed, it can take the title, and it can, has other options as well. So if we want to cut at 0, 0, 0, we um, can add this um, as cut chords, and we can give it a title and an eye template. And then we see um, here the, the coordinates were minus 1 to 20, and now the coordinates are 0, 0, 0. And you see the title and my table. So, um, if you don't know a function or um, would like to learn more about the function, you can always, and this is true for, for every Python package and every Python function, you can uh, use the help function, or if Ricardo also um, mentioned this yesterday, um, to get more information about the package or the function. Or in IPython notebooks, you can use the question mark. So if you do the help um, command, you get all the, the options. You see that you need to specify the atomic image, you can specify cut coordinates, an output file, and so on. But you can also use in IPython notebooks this question mark. You can write plotting, plot the net, question mark, and evaluate the cell, and then you can also get the, the help. OK, so now if we have an uh, anatomical image, we probably have some functional data we want to overlay over this. And so maybe some, some T-map or statistical map, ICA map, whatever you, you have that's in the same space as the anatomical um, image you want to overlay it. You can use the plot stat map function. And for that, we also need to fetch data. So we need some statistical maps we want to display. And there are also in the data sets module, there are a lot of open data sets available, functional as well as structural. And um, we want to fetch this localizer button task. So we run this again. And now we can inspect this um, localizer data set variable. And then we will see it has annets and it has tmaps. And we just write those two into those um, variables. And those are nothing special. Those are just strings or text. Um, but they refer to a file on your hard drive now. So um, in my case, this is, is downloaded without, my, um, without specifying anything into this Nylon data folder. And if you run the fetcher again, it won't download it because it will take a look at this folder first and see that the data is already there. So, Localizer, inet, file map, file name, and tmap file name are just strings referring to a file in your hard drive. And now with this simple um, command, plotting dot plot stat map, you can display this localizer map onto an anatomical image, um, which is specified here, and you can give it a type. <coughs> Okay, and usually you are not interested in having these stat maps unthresholded. So you can also add a threshold by just adding an additional uh, argument here, which is threshold. And we threshold this with um, a value of 3. So um, everything we see here is more extreme than plus or minus 3. And um, so here we have the, the anatomical image as a background. But we can also use this glass brain image and do something very similar. So we take the uh, stats map, we threshold it, and we put overlay it over a glass brain. It looks like this. And um, we can. We also have different options here we can play around with. And we always can just inquire about the options that a function has by writing help plotting plot glass brain. And then we see all the, all the options that glass brain has. And in this case, we have this typically last brain that we, we have both hemispheres together. But you can also take, um, so this would be this here. Um, um, but we can also produce glass brains for the left and right hemisphere separately. So then we can see that here we don't have a look through the entire brain, but only through one hemisphere. 
And the only thing we need to change is that instead of display mode left set right, we specify left y right set. And that's all you need to, to do to get really nice visualizations of your, of your statistical maps. So, um, Nylon has a lot of other plotting functions as well, and a lot of other <coughs> functions in general. But um, what the next steps probably would be, you have now this image in your IPython notebook, but you probably want to save this image on your hard drive. And this works <coughs> via this um, save fig command, you can write the, the command um, into this variable fig, or the, the output of the this call is written into the variable fig, and then you can just write with this dot annotation that, that you know from yesterday, um, fig dot save fig, and then give it a file name as a PDF or a JPEG or whatever you want to save it. And um, if you don't want to plot files provided by Nylearn, but you want to plot your own files, then um, you can, again, for instance, take this MNI template as a background and then uh, as, a, as a reference. And so this is the function as a reference. And instead of plotting the MNI template, you want, to you want to plot your own data, you can just substitute the MNI path with your um, nifty file and then run this command again and this then plots your own file so um, those are very basic plotting functionalities of, of Nylon there are other very cool tools like um, plotting multiple ROIs, regions of interest for instance from an ICA analysis in one brain either um, as clusters or even cooler as, as contours of clusters, which is a very nice, so the, this, this, these ICA results are very tricky to visualize at once. You have 20, 40, 200 different ICs and um, you can then select or display all in one brain, which is very nice. Um, you can plot connectomes, so brain networks. Uh, if you have a connectivity matrix, and coordinates regarding the, the nodes of a matrix, then you can plot um, as, as, as glass brains the, the connect nodes. And if you take a look at this website, you'll see um, other examples. So if you go to, to Nylon and then examples, you'll see very nice plotting tutorials. You also see there are a couple of tutorials on decoding and predicting from brain images and a couple of tutorials on functional connectivity and um, yeah, lower level image manipulation. And they all come with, with the code, of course, so you can download those notebooks and run them on your laptop yourself. And you can play around with the code. And it's a really um, a nice and easy way to, to get started with Nylearn and just see what the tool can, can do. OK, thanks so much. Do you have any questions? If you are starting to play around on the, on the um, notebook server and you run into trouble, just shout even if it's in the afternoon. And yeah, I hope to, to, I hope I was able to interest you into this very nice tool. And um, so now we have, okay. Um, I think we'll have a five minutes or break and I'll fetch our next speaker. Thank you. <coughs>